Okay, hello everyone. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, just by way of introduction to set the agenda for today, uh, I am Miles Hisher. I lead our sales and accounts teams at Highview Solutions, a certified Google Cloud partner, uh, joined here by my colleague, uh, Mr. Julio Godinez. Julio, how, how are you? Very good, very good. I'm glad that we have the time to talk a, a, a little bit about this topic. Excellent. Great. Great. And um, yeah, tell everyone a little bit more about your role at, at Highview. Yeah, I uh, started uh, Highview Solutions as a um, cloud engineer. Right now, I'm working as a GCP AWS architect, uh, helping this in the sales part and, and also in the technical side and implementation. Great. Excellent. Excellent. Um, so a little bit about Highview Solutions, then we'll talk about our Cloud Foundations offering for Google Cloud Platform. So our company goal is to cultivate a people-centric approach to cloud technology. We offer a, a variety of different services um, centered on Google Cloud. Uh, we do a lot of work with customers within Google Cloud Platform. We have also a practice around uh, workplace productivity solutions like Google Voice for G Suite, uh, Workspace, formerly called G Suite, and uh, Google Chrome Enterprise as well. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Julio here. We'll talk a little bit more about our Cloud Foundations offering uh, for Google Cloud Platform. Thank you, Miles. So um, a lot of customers uh, that we have been working with, um, even though they have the decision of moving their workload from on-premise or from other cloud uh, providers to GCP, they're only they are always wondering about how to start, right? How to uh, what are the um, the key uh, elements they need in order to start uh, building uh, their application or or any project that they want to move to the cloud uh, in DCP. So that's exactly what we do in in Highview as a cloud foundation um, offering. Uh, we help customers to identify what are like the fundamental uh, part that they need in order to start building uh, in DCP. And just to talk a little bit about the the, um, uh, the chart that we have on the screen, um, uh, the foundation, the very foundation, it will start with the infrastructure, even uh, if you are working with VMs or uh, Kubernetes with uh, containers, or you decide to use a, um, a managed service like uh, Cloud Functions um, or App Engine, then we have the technology stack, uh, which is pretty much how you, the application is going to be working, what um, uh, programming language is going to use. Um, um, and finally, we have the application like the core business value, right? It's like the application like up and running, which is the main goal of, of the not only the foundation, but the, the whole journey. Um, well, yeah, in, in the next slide, we have a couple of um, uh, key elements that we consider like very valuable to uh, to have um, configured as a as a fundamental uh, part of the kickoff in 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 GCP. Uh, used to talk a little bit about them. The cloud identity is how the users and developers are going to be accessing your account. Cloud IAM is which privileges uh, they're going to have, which resources they're going to be able to access. Monitoring is a very important part. Uh, we use Stackdriver to keep track of login, uh, to monitor performance, to create alerts, even uh, to debug code. Um, security is something that is kind of like built-in. Uh, uh, GCP has a couple of uh, built-in offerings, but even in that, in those scenarios, we can like provide the consultant uh, service to know which uh, solution suitable is more suitable for your project. And something there is, I will, I will say that very important is the billing section. Um, talking with previous customers that were like already working on GCP, um, in some in some cases they were not completely aware or they, what exactly were they paying for. So uh, part of the offering is to have like a very transparent report and help the customer to understand uh, what they are being charged. Um, because um, when when it comes to cost optimization, most of the most of the people think that is only about like uh, if my code is running in the right place, uh, do I need to move it to Kubernetes? Do I need to change the technology? But sometimes it's just a matter of know exactly what you're paying for and not wasting money in resources that you are not completely using. 
And uh, finally, on their network, it is also uh, pretty much managed by uh, Google. But depending on your business needs, you might like to, to use a VPN to connect uh, uh, to other uh, resources outside DCP or in a different VPC, uh, cloud router, uh, any, anything related to network, it is also part of the bundle of cloud foundations. So we can um, try to create the best um, diagram for your application to run smoothly in the cloud and to be very um, cost effective. Great. Thanks for the overview, Julio. Sure. So from an engagement standpoint, we typically will work with an organization that's interested in cloud foundations for GCP. We conduct a series of workshops drilling down into each of these categories in a bit more detail. Uh, the output of that is a statement of work for services uh, to help your organization structure each of these correctly. So just to give you all an example of what that actually looks like uh, from, from our side, uh, we scope out different services. So here's a sample. You'll see different sections like solutions, use case architecture, uh, general GCP setup and billing account arrangement. We typically do all this work remotely, but by the way, identity and access management. We also do a lot of work around networking and security architecture. And then after those sessions, when we determine the exact scope, and that is different from for every business, we deliver a, a statement of work with a, a set of deliverables. And this really is a, an appropriate format for an, a small business all the way up to like a medium-sized uh, enterprise we, we've used this this general uh, template for. From a project timeline perspective, we, we typically try to operate on a four-week engagement, shorter or longer depending on the customer's exact needs, but just to give you a ballpark estimate around around four weeks um, to, to accomplish uh, many of the items that we've gone through there. So um, in addition, we break down specific roles uh, in a bit more detail, uh, such as um, infrastructure architect, uh, infrastructure engineer, DevOps, and a PM uh, from our side. On the customer side, might be a sponsor, manager, IT architect, et cetera. So that's just a little bit about how we structure uh, the Cloud Foundation's statement of works. So if your organization is interested in getting started with GCP, uh, please go ahead and reach out to us, highviewsolutions.com, and you can reach us at sales at highviewsolutions.com as well. Great. Julio, thanks for your time today. Thank you, Miles. Great. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.